here on Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. We end our Fukushima anniversary special with the words of the world-renowned political dissident linguist, author, MIT professor Noam Chomsky, who also traveled to Tokyo last week. Noam Chomsky is now 85 years old. He met with survivors from Fukushima, including families who evacuated the area. Their meeting was filmed by the independent online media channel Our Planet TV. This is Professor Chomsky speaking in Japan. Particularly horrifying that this is happening in Japan, which, with its unique, uh, horrendous experiences with uh, the effect of uh, the nuclear explosions, which we don't have to discuss. And of course, it's particularly horrifying when it's happening to children who are defenseless and innocent. But uh, unfortunately, this is what happens all the time. I mean, I had two daughters about. When they were about the age of your daughter, uh, they would come home from school uh, telling us how in school they were taught to hide under desks in case there was a nuclear war. Uh, this was right after the Cuban Missile Crisis, when the world came very close to nuclear war. And children were very upset. I mean, I knew children who were friends of families who were sure they were never going to survive because the world was going to be destroyed by a nuclear war. But the official line was, don't worry, everything's under control. Uh, the same was true, again, my daughters when they were about her age. Uh, we stopped feeding them milk because uh, the scientists who were concerned recognized that there was a very high level of strontium-90 uh, in the milk that was coming from uh, atomic explosions. The U.S. was carrying out many open-air explosions, and the government assured everyone that there's no problem, but uh, we just—a lot of people like us just stopped feeding the children, uh, gave them only powdered milk, which came from before the uh, explosions. It's, it happens all the time. Uh, so uh, right now, for example, in Iraq, uh, there's a city, Fallujah, which was attacked by U.S. forces using uh, weapons that no one understands, but they leave a high level of radiation. And uh, there's uh, studies by Iraqi and American doctors showing a very high level of cancer among children, far higher than before in the whole neighborhood of Fallujah. But the government denies it. The U.S. government denies it. The Iraqi government is, doesn't function. Uh, the international organizations refuse to look. Uh, so it's all being carried out by independent organizations and uh, citizens groups. And this is simply everywhere. I mean, in, uh, in 1961, the United States began the chemical warfare in uh, Vietnam, South Vietnam, uh, chemical warfare to destroy crops and livestock. Uh, that went on for seven years. Uh, the level of poison, uh, the, they used the most extreme carcinogen known, dioxin, uh, and this went on for years. Uh, there's uh, enormous effects in South Vietnam, uh, there are children today being born in uh, Saigon hospitals, of deformed children in horrible deformations. Government refuses to investigate. Uh, they've investigated effects on American soldiers, but not on the South Vietnamese. And there's almost no study of it except for independent citizens groups. It uh, can add case after case, but it's a uh, horrifying story and particularly horrifying for you because you're suffering from it. Uh, but that's the way governments operate. Uh, they protect themselves from their own citizens. Uh, governments regard their own citizens as their main enemy and they have to be protect themselves. That's why you have state secret laws. Citizens are not supposed to know what their government is doing to them. Uh, just to give one final example, when uh, Edward Snowden's mm -hmm. revelations appeared, the head of U.S. intelligence 
James Clapper, testified before Congress that no telephone communications of Americans are being monitored. It was an outlandish lie. Uh, lying to Congress is a felony. You should go to jail for years. Not a word. Uh, governments are supposed to lie to their citizens. Author and MIT professor Noam Chomsky speaking during his visit to Tokyo last week. Special thanks to Our Planet TV. You can visit our website to see our three days of coverage from Tokyo, Japan, at democracynow.org. Well, we're on the road again. Tonight, I'll be speaking at UMass Amherst at Bowker Auditorium at 7 p.m. On Thursday, I'll be in Flagstaff at Northern Arizona University in Klein Library at 7 p.m. Friday in Santa Fe, speaking at the Lensic Performing Arts Center. And on Saturday, I'll be speaking in Denver, Colorado at 7 p.m. Then to St. Lewis the following Saturday on March 29th. Check it out at alldemocracynow.org. Democracy Now! produced by Mike Burke, Renee Feltzer, and Matt Daniel Shakespeare.